So the first thing I ever learned to cook was a condiment. Actually, it was cocktail sauce, which goes with fish, anything seafood. And I have a simple little recipe here that's probably the first one I learned, and I haven't changed it in probably 50 years. So let's go. Welcome to All Things Food with John Woods. I love to cook, but I cook to love. So let's talk food. We have a little ketchup. Here's about a cup of ketchup, one full cup of ketchup. Tablespoon of horseradish here. This is um, prepared horseradish. Now be sure you don't get horseradish sauce. There's a big difference. This is prepared horseradish, pure, pure horseradish. Horseradish sauce has mayonnaise in it. You don't want that. So we have about a tablespoon of horseradish. And this is where you get all the heat and bite. And you can adjust this accordingly if you like a little more bite, a little more horseradish. If you don't want so much bite, put a little less in. Now this is the one I always have problems with, Worcestershire sauce. So we got about a tablespoon of that. Then I have a fresh onion. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit into there. I'm gonna put my fingers down here to keep the seeds from going into it. A Little bit of that. And over here, now some, this is optional. Some people will add a little bit of sugar just to kind of take that tang out of it. Um, it's optional, I'm not gonna add that today, but it's optional for you. I'm gonna stir, stir that up. How long did that take us? Maybe, well, because I talk so much, it probably took longer than we needed, but maybe 15 seconds to stir all that together. And this is gonna go on shrimp. Now I learned a little secret about shrimp I'm gonna share with you today as a bonus part of this video. If you learn anything today, this is gonna be worth learning. So hit the subscribe button. It's not gonna cost you one penny, just subscribe to the channel. Like us and share us with somebody. And I'm gonna share this good little secret with you. Most of the time, most of my life, I've cooked shrimp, like other people, in water. Boiling water, drop the shrimp in add a little Zatarin seasoning or a little Old Bay and maybe squeeze a little bit of lemon in. That's kind of the traditional way to do it. But I think I found a, a, a much better way that's a lot cleaner and gives me a more consistent shrimp, especially when I'm cooking shrimp cocktails. So I'm gonna share that with you right now. So what's that little secret I'm gonna tell you that I think will elevate your shrimp cocktail up to that next level or anytime you cook shrimp rather than boiling it? giving you a more consistent shrimp. We're actually gonna kind of roast this shrimp. I'm not gonna put any oil on it. Shrimp's fairly dry. I'm gonna put a little bit of Creole seasoning on there, just to my taste. You don't even have to put that on there. And then I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon, toss it all around. I'm gonna put this in a skillet and put it in a, uh, an oven at about 425 degrees. We want an internal temperature of about 100 45 degrees roughly. So let's, let's go try it out and see what happens. So our shrimp is out of the oven. I cooked it at about 425 degrees and I think this was in there maybe about four minutes. I didn't turn it, I just left it in there. Cooked in the skillet, we cooled it down and that shrimp actually turned out as, just about as good as you can get it. The seasoning's still on there versus putting it in water and a lot of that seasoning washes off and it looks very, very nice. It's not overcooked, it's not rubbery. So I want shrimp cocktail. I'm gonna get me a little cup here, a little shot glass actually. Pour a little, put a little bit of that delicious cocktail sauce in there that we made a minute ago. Maybe take that shrimp and hang a few off the edge like so. We could garnish that with a lemon. And there you have it, a wonderful little appetizer, shrimp cocktail. So wasn't that just about the simplest recipe that I could possibly share with you? One of the first things, probably the first thing that I learned making cocktail sauce. And then that little secret that I gave you on cooking shrimp to make it just perfect every time. So thanks for watching this today. If you learned anything, please hit the subscribe button. It's not gonna cost you one penny. Hit the like button, we like likes. And of course, we want you to share it with other people. See you soon on All Things Food with John Woods.